Hey guys, welcome to a new video, a very short one. The important news, I'm gonna show you how to save your blobs with or without jailbreak. The first thing you need to know to do, you need to type blob saver uh, or whatever GitHub or blob saver beta in your browser and you will go to the website. Let's see now, blob saver GitHub. Okay, and then you will go to this github.com where you see blob saver 3.0 version 3 beta and there you will see that you can download three versions for Mac, Windows and Linux. So I'm gonna download for Mac OS and it says Blob Saver 2.6 version. Actually this is 3.3.0. So what you need to do you download the correct version for your for your uh, machine for your computer and you know uh, wait for it and then we will install it. Okay, it has 41.6 megabyte. My internet is very, very slow anyway. So uh, while we wait for, for it to download, this is just to say that this version says 2.6, but it's actually 3.0 beta. So you just go ahead. And for this version, you don't need to install Java anymore. And if you have it, you can, you can easily uninstall it. Okay, so waiting for it to finish downloading. Once it's downloaded, you can just double click on it, blob saver 2.6, and it will open the file for you. All right, so however, since it's downloaded from the internet, you, when you want to save it in your applications or on your desktop, wherever you want, uh, when you want to open it, it will tell you that you cannot because it's from the un untrusted source. All right, so you will see, yes, so it's not a verified developer. What you need to do, you just click cancel, then you go to settings and security and privacy option on the Mac and, you know, click open anyway. Then you will be able to open, open the file. So once you open Blob Saver, you will see that you don't need to update. You need to ignore this update because you already have a beta version, which is 2.6. Now, the best thing about this uh, app is that you can read the options, the ECID directly from your device, right? So when you click the, uh, this, you will see your, your number and you will see your mobile phone, your iPhone version. Then you have the option to download and save blobs or all signed versions, the beta version, or you know, you don't need the beta for this. So unclick it. What I would recommend that you download for all possible signed versions at this moment. Then the option app knowns, which was a hassle. You click on it and you can choose whether your device is jailbroken or unjailbroken, right? So in either way you can you can select. So I click jailbroken because my iPhone 12 Pro Max is jailbroken on 14.3. So my device is now entering the recovery mode and uh, it will soon finish it. When, it. when it enters the recovery mode, it will wake up in non-jailbroken state. And in this situation, it will read the app knowns app knowns from your device previously it was very very you know hectic to to do that okay so my device is in the in the uh, uh, all right so now i got the app known successfully and the phone is, ex is exiting recovery mode so it will take a few seconds to to wake up the phone and to return it to non-jailbroken state so if you're jailbroken you need to re-jailbreak it again after you finish the entire process so it's reading uh it's gonna populate this this uh, part here where it says app knowns. So just let's see when the phone exits the recovery mode, then it will be locked. You need to unlock your device now at this po at this point. Once you do that, you will be able to finish it. As you can see, it's successfully finished. So click finish, and then you will see your app knowns. And what you just need to do, you click the button go and it will immediately save your blobs and it will give you the information where it is saved and for which versions. So for me it's 14.5.1 which will enable later on for me to downgrade to this version if if necessary. So this is one of the best ways to do this, to save it and you know to later be able to downgrade to this signed version. Thank you for watching short video.